Hi guys, I'm back. So I know my last video, I told you that the next one would be a Timu haul, which this is, but I also said the one after this is going to be a giveaway haul. So what I want you guys to do is go back to my last video that was a Dollar Tree haul, and I want you to find the part of the video where I hauled the potato chips. And I want you to comment below which province in Canada those potato chips are made. Now, with the correct answer, as well as you liking the video and being a subscriber, because I will check, you will be entered to win the haul video, which is going to be my next video posted. So you're also gonna to wanna to turn on the notifications. So once again, I want you to comment down below where those potato chips are made and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you'll like this video. And so how it's gonna work is the next video I make is going to be a shop with me at Dollar Tree and everything that I put in the cart will be reviewed and given away to one lucky subscriber for my 100 subscriber giveaway. So I'm pretty excited about it. I do wanna let you know that shipping is very expensive to the US and it's likely um, someone that lives there that's going to win as the majority of my viewers are from America. I'm from Canada. So I am going to limit the shop to about 40 Canadian dollars, which is probably 25 or 30 US dollars. And I am going to try and shop for items that are lightweight or smaller so that it's not as expensive to ship. So with that said, I'm gonna get into today's haul video. I hope you guys enjoy, it's a long one. And let me know what you think about it in the comments as well as your answer for the giveaway. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Frugal Finds, and I'm here today with you for my first Timu haul. Now, to be completely honest, I have made about four or five orders. I have some things put away around my house, and then I have the rest of the stuff, four or five boxes here, or bags here, that I'm going to share with you today. Um, just out of length sake, I did buy a lot of jewelry that's in my bedroom that I think I will do as a separate Timu haul. I believe that this was one of the items and it is really nice. I love it. It's a whale with a little turquoise stone in it. And um, if any of you guys are interested, I can try linking the products down below or you can just use the search terms. Most of the stuff was pretty recently hauled. So here we have a mermaid hair don't care baseball hat and it has this at the back, which is supposed to be for like a ponytail or a bun. So it is cute, but I find if you put your hair back, it's not like at the right height to go in between the crisscrosses where it should be. And I thought that these elastics would make it more snug in the back on my head, but I find it actually doesn't. Even though this part is elastic, it sort of remains not tight to your head. I'll see if I can show you guys what I mean quickly. So if we just put it up into sort of a normal height ponytail, not high or low. This is a big sort of holder, but might help you see what I'm talking about better. And then I put this on. And then at the back, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Here, I'm gonna try and put it through. It goes through this first hole above the band like you normally would do with a baseball hat. So unless you're gonna wear it higher than that, it doesn't really make any sense to have these bands because if I push it through higher, I can wear it there, but you can see how up here, these are really like loose and wrinkly. They're not tight. So it's a cute hat, but in terms of the ponytail part of it, I'm not that into it. So out of 10, I would probably give this hat a five or a six. I don't know how many of you guys know what a group of crows is called, but it's a murder. So it's attempted, but it's not complete. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing. 
So I got this sling bag from Timu and I don't even really want to review it because it stinks so flipping bad. Like, I can't even put my hand on what that smell is, but I got it because it was so cute and it's like a duck with a bag on it, and it's a bag. Um, as far as the quality goes, the zipper is nice and it doesn't get stuck at all. It has about enough room for your phone and a few items, probably not a water bottle. And then this one that the duck is holding does open up as well with like a magnet closure and you could probably just fit like some coins or something in there. Um, but to be honest, he doesn't smell as bad as when I got him about a week ago, but it's such a weird smell. And unless somehow he stops smelling so badly, I don't know if I'm going to be using him or not. We got this keychain. I'm obsessed with these vintage keychains. Now, this is the keys to the camper. And I have two campers, so that's perfect. My boyfriend wanted this beard shaper. He hasn't used it yet. I believe this was about $2. This is transparent, and it says that it has, um, lines on it for different things. Cheek line, sideburns, neckline, forehead. It looks like it's pretty high quality. So I would give that like a 10 out of 10. Attempted murder, I would only give about a five out of 10 because it's not canvas. And the duck bag, if it wasn't for the smell, I'd honestly give it like a 10 out of 10. But because of the smell, I'm gonna have to give it like a six. <clears throat> this was $9.99. I saw these when I was on vacation in Florida. I love beach combing and I haven't opened this yet. The most recent purchase, I opened the bag to look, but I haven't looked at the products carefully. So it came with this Enjoy Soft Simple Not Simple bag with a beat on it. How random is that? I'm an Office fan, so I was like, True Farm, Tala. So this is what the bag looks like, which is meant for all the stuff that you find. Life is hard, enjoy soft. So it's got one, two pockets, and then this little dowel up here, I'm not sure why, but it's probably not strong enough for rocks, which is what I use them for mostly in Canada, but um, this is more meant for seashells and lighter weight stuff. Now the scoop is smaller than I thought it would be compared to the ones that I've seen people using in Florida. Um, and these are pretty far apart, but that's actually good because if you're going to use this for seashells, if they were too close together, it would take a long time for the water to drain out and the sand. So it seems pretty sturdy. It doesn't seem like it's going to come unattached. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Here we have one of those weird jellyfish things they show hanging from the ceiling and they light up. When I first saw them on Timu, I think they were like between seven and $10 each. This one was $3 and you will notice that um, the items change price all the time and different colors are different prices. So I didn't really want the yellow, but it was like $2 and the other ones were five something. So I really don't know. How long is this going to take to figure this out? So we will open this. I thought this would look really cool if you did have multiple ones hanging from the ceiling. I love jellyfish. Oh, okay, see I thought this was for hanging but I think it's supposed to be like a tentacle and it's like fishing line with pearls. This part's hard on top almost like the material from a Oh, plastic water bottle. 
Oh. Okay, wait. Maybe that was the hanger. The ones inside are fishing line with see-through beads, not pearls. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Oh. And I think I read different reviews based on which seller you bought it from, like whether the lights were included. So this has the fishing line with the clear beads for tentacles. Then it also has, there's only two of those hanging down, but that's with these, which are also tentacles. Then there is the wire fairy lights that you can see here. And it looks like there's only one string of those hanging down and they're attached to this little battery pack. And this is the, this is the one, the pearl one hanging thing. So see how that is gonna make that go up and then you're not really gonna be able to, oh, okay, here we go again. We're figuring this out together, guys. There are more fairy lights. They are wired together at the top in like a bow shape maybe so that the top is more luminescent. So I'm just gonna take the little plastic thing out that activates the battery. And there's just a, ooh. There's multiple modes on this. Flashing, steady, off, fast flashing, slow flashing, steady. I like that. This was less than $3. And if you wanted to, you could add more fairy lights to that. So the top, I don't know if it's supposed to be like sort of crinkled in like that. Let me see if I can, it's like a clear plastic and then it has like, cause jellyfish aren't like a, a perfect dome, right? I don't want to wreck it though. It's clear plastic, but then the iridescent part that you see is just a paper underneath that makes it look like that. And the plastic part is sort of like caved in at different points. So I'm not sure if I should pop that out or not. Um, I'm gonna tuck the battery pack up higher and then I think that looks really neat for two bucks. I'm gonna hang it up and see what it looks like at night and probably order some more of those. So he's gonna go over there, Jimmy the jellyfish. Put all the garbage on the floor. I might have to divide this into two videos, guys. Okay, so this was awesome. I was excited. I think I did pay like $12 for this. This was one of my first items I got off Timu. And then I was upset because it was labeled as a welcome mat, but it's really more like one of those really thin bath mats that you can get for like $2 at the dollar store. <laughs> but it's a retro cassette tape. So I thought, well, I'll just use it for a normal mat somewhere. Or I thought I could turn this into a really awesome pillow. What do you guys think? It looks a lot bigger on here than in real life. It's like the si size of like a normal pillowcase. So it's not what I thought it would be in terms of quality, but the image and everything, I think I would still give this like a six out of 10. What's in this bag from forever ago? Okay, so we got these nails and they have a lemon print on them that's super cute. The nails on Timu are like two or $3. And I didn't try any of these nails on yet with the glue, but I took them out and pushed them up against my nail and they look super cute. So I actually ordered another pack of these since then, just cause I thought they were so adorable. But super cute. So like it comes with the file and it does come with the stick-ons for the back. There's a spot in the container for the nail glue, but I don't, it doesn't come with it. So if you want to use the nail glue instead of the nails, then you would have to just use some from a different kit. Oh, 
This is why it's fun when you save things for a bit because you can almost forget what you bought. This is some of the, from the first jewelry order I got. Now I was really looking forward to this cause I'm like a big ocean mermaid lover type of person, but it was broken when I got it. So for, it was like two bucks. So it's not worth returning. I think I'll just save the charm and then maybe end up making it into something else later. It is like a see-through blue stone with a little mermaid tail on it. I don't know if you can see that. So, I mean, I guess I have to say zero out of 10 because it was broken. But the next item are these little crab earrings, guys. And these are silver plated. And I believe they were around $3. They came with one extra back and it's the, the little like silicone backs to them. It's a see-through blue stone again with crystals on the claws. I don't know how people get their phones to focus. Let's see if I can do it like this. And they are adorable. I 10 out of 10 recommend these. And these ones didn't come in a cheap bag. They came in this little container, which is really nice for storing them in. And I've seen these containers sold on Timu, so um, that's how big they are. And these are a 10 out of 10. Then I got one of these shopping cart slugs. They used to call fake coin slugs back in the olden days. So it has the shopping cart on it and it actually looks really high quality. I haven't tried it yet. So this must be for the quarter. There are Walmarts here in Ontario now where you need a loony, which is $1. So it, it comes off too. So like, I'm not sure why, but yeah, that was like 250. I, I give that a 10 out of 10 as long as it works. And then I got a pack of minimalist geometric earrings. This I think was around $4. It came in like silver, gold, or rose gold. Um, I think the rose gold was sold out. So I did get the gold and there's the circle ones, the plain bars. the triangles and then a cube that's actually like 3d so those are pretty cute let's try to swear less okay so that's what those look like i used to have a second hole but it grew over they'd look really good with like a stud here and then back here you could wear them like this too So this is how I'm going out today, one of each. <laughs> Just kidding. Shark decal for the back of my car. Haven't tried, so I'm not gonna rate it. It was like a dollar. And then I've seen these ceramic car coasters sell for like $15. So this was like $2. And I'm, like I said, really into the ocean and stuff. These are shark ones. I took one out and it's like decent. These are a 10 out of 10. Okay, so that's all that's in there. Any other jewelry I find, I think I'm just gonna set it aside and review it in a separate video. This I got for my camper. It's a magnetic LED light. That's not in the box. This is just the magnet strip. One goes on the surface, one goes on the light. I think it's right over here though, let me grab it. So I charged it, it didn't take long to charge and it's really bright and because it's, um, the magnet is an adhesive to let's say underneath a cupboard, you can take the light down and use it also. Um, and it says it's motion activated, but I don't know about that. It looked like that was part of like how it was built, but I guess that's the on off switch. So it's pretty bright. I think this was like $7. It does feel kind of cheap, but it's really bright. And I like that it's wireless and magnetic. So I would give it like a six out of 10. Next up we have 
I found these little mini Lego kits on Timu. I got this Pelican one, and then I got one that's coffee and donuts that I have out in my camper. Um, one was like four and one was like seven. I think they were a little bit pricier. I could be wrong on the price. And these are Canadian dollars, so the price will be lower on the United States Timu with the exchange rate. So it says it's 130 pieces. Um, this one's by Dr. Star. The other one was a different name brand, but I just thought that was really, really cute to like put on the shelf once you're done. And then I also got this light pack for my camper for my son to put over his bed in my last, was it the last one or the one before that? My, my second last, um, Dollar Tree haul video, I gave a tour of my campers. I have a little vintage bowler style one and then a pop-up tent. So the bowler one, this is cracked here. The bowler one we just got and I've been buying all this cute stuff for it to redo it. So I wanted to get him some lights and when I went to Walmart to get all the pillows and stuff, uh, I found lights like this for 20 or 30 bucks and then I looked on Timu after. This one is quite a lot. Like I just unbundled a little bit of it and that's already quite a few feet. It takes three AA batteries so we're going to try it out. So I got the battery pack in and ta-da! Look how weird this is though. The first two are white light and then it goes to yellow light. <laughs> but they look pretty bright. All the stars light up. So I would say this is a 10 out of 10 for the, uh, I think it was, what did I say? Around $5 compared to buying one at Walmart for 20 or 30. I got more of these hooks. I've bought these hooks before off of Wish and they're amazing. So it's the exact same thing from Timu, I think. I haven't tried these ones. Maybe the adhesive on the back is different. They feel a little bit thinner right here actually than the ones I get on Wish. But these hold like amazing amounts of weight, like probably 10 pounds or more. And this part's flexible. So. They're transparent. I got 10, I think this was like two or $3. They're much better, stronger even than command hooks. So I didn't wanna run out of those. Then I got, oh, I haven't tried this yet. This solar panel for charging your phone. So this part's the USB plug-in, so you could charge anything with it, but um, they came in different ampages. There was like a 10, a 20 and a 30 or something. I got the middle one. I think this was $11. Now there's no frame or anything on this, but that's probably good because it's super light. Like, I don't know what you, obviously if the power went out, I got it because my camper, uh, I want to go places where there's no electricity. Um, I'm feeling like this might come in handy other times though. If I just got like a really lightweight pouch for this from Dollar Tree and just kept it in my bag. So I am sitting in the sun right now in my house. There's no lights on. Um, so let's just see what happens sitting right here. I'm gonna plug this iPhone in and it's plugged into the solar panel. Doesn't say it's doing anything, but this one Sometimes has to be plugged in a certain way. Nothing. Now, is it just not bright enough or does it not work? I'm gonna go look and put it in the window and see. So it works. I put it in the sun and it's working. Then I walked back here and it was still working, but the light that it that showed that it was charging got a little bit dimmer. So it does work and it definitely works in the sun. So I give that one a 10 out of 10. I got these alphabet lore stickers. How cute is that? My son loves alphabet lore. He, you know what he loves even more than alphabet lore? Number lore. He has a YouTube channel we started together. 
called Professor Eli and we draw numbers together. And <laughs> we even made a coloring book that we're going to sell on Amazon and we put it on Etsy and we sold a copy last weekend for $2.99. It's an instant printable download of 25 pages of our drawings and it's super cute and it's on Etsy. So I'll link it down below just in case you want to buy a copy. Just kidding. Aren't these cute? I didn't think there'd be words. I thought it would just be A to Z and it said 50 some stickers. So obviously there would be more than just one of each of the alphabet, but yeah, he was pretty excited about that. Um, what else do I have here for you today? I got some of these vintage prints thinking that I would frame them, but to be honest, oh yeah, the alphabet lore stickers get a 10 out of 10. These are strange because they are thin like a normal paper that you print at home, but it didn't say that it wouldn't be, so I can't flaunt for that. They are nice, but the reason I don't know about them is because see how this one is like sepia toned around the edge and this one is not so if you wanted to make like a group of them and frame them like a collage on the wall it would look kind of funny because they're not all the same tone but other than that they are really nice um i can't remember how much these were i want to say around four dollars my parents were biologists and they would get these uh, poster sized posters, poster sized posters, and have them hanging in the basement when I was little, like a butterfly one and ones like this of flora and fauna. So I thought it might be nice to have some of these up around the house, um, especially these marine life ones. So it really just looks like one of those sort of field guide books, the pictures that are in those. But I, I would just give it a five out of 10 because I feel like they should all be shaded the same way around the outside. Okay, so this is the second uh, thing I got for art wise. Remember I said with the attempted murder, it's like a cardstock. Well, this is actually a rolled canvas and I love wiener dogs. Um, my dog Ellie passed away when she was 13 and she was a long haired wiener dog. So Picasso was a fan and he made this sketch and I just thought it would be really adorable to have that on my wall. So 10 out of 10 for that. It came in this wooden tube. I can't fit it back inside so I just have it wrapped around. The first one I bought came in a clear plastic tube is it in here? I thought I shoved it in here somewhere to show you guys. Yeah, it's right here. And that's why I bought some more. I only bought one at first because I wanted to see what the quality was like. And I bought a frame for this one. It's not in a frame yet, but it says, and I think to myself, what a wonderful, wonderful world. So sea turtles are my favorite animal and the cat on the sea turtle looks like my cat, Lola. So this was just too perfect to pass up. I was like, if it's bad quality, uh, it was like 250. So was the Picasso one. So this is a 10 out of 10. I got, I think it was a four or five pack of these thinking that they'd be really cool. And they are cool, but they're just a like a little USB night light. And I think you could get like warm white or cool white. And I got the Cool white. Now, I thought I could just grab something to show you, but hey, maybe the solar panel will work. Let's try it. Um, this would have been a better indicator of the power that this thing puts out, but it's not very sunny over here. There you go. See, it's dim, like I said, but if I put this right into the sun, it would get a lot brighter. So these are really, I think, handy and cool, and it was like two bucks for five of them. But the problem is I left it plugged in my kitchen and I went back like an hour later and I noticed, and these got really good reviews, that it was like burning hot. So I don't really trust these 
in my outlets and for that reason I give them like a 1 out of 10. This is one of those things that you put on your thumb while you're reading and it holds the pages open. So the idea is you have this on your thumb and then you hold it with your thumb and it sort of splays the pages open wider for you. So in theory, it actually is working and I really like it because it's made of resin with really nice like rock chips in it. I was thinking of just ordering one to see the quality and then that it would be like a really nice gift for the readers in your family. So I actually would recommend it for that purpose. Um, for me, it's not that amazing because I have really thin fingers. So you can see there's a lot of space at the top. Um, but then I could also see it being, if you had really big fingers and it not fitting. Um, but even if it fit over just the end, I think that would probably work. Let's see. Yeah, that would still work. So yeah, I give this like an eight out of 10. Those would be really good for stocking stuffers or if you wanted to give somebody a book as a gift to give that with it, just as a little bit extra. I think I am gonna plow through this, try to edit it and make it shorter because I don't wanna have to keep these items to the side for another video and not use them. This is a toilet paper dispenser that you can hang up and it's got this grommet here and it opens at the bottom to store it. Now I was thinking though, I wonder if you can pull the toilet paper through here without it breaking. So we're gonna try it out. I have the roll in there and because it fits that way, I don't see how it's gonna dispense without breaking. I'm just gonna actually undo a bit and feed it up through this hole and then zip it shut. So this is for camping. You could hang it on a tree outside, whatever, depending on where your bathroom is that you're using. Okay, so let's just see. No, it's not pulling out. So how is that gonna work? It's not. The only way it's gonna work is if you were to put your toilet paper roll sideways in here and then it can't really turn if you put it like this. I didn't think of that when I bought it, see? And it wasn't that cheap. I think it was like eight bucks. So I have to think of another use for this. I just already thought of one though. You could put your yarn in there and it would come out this hole and then your yarn wouldn't get tangled. No, so this is a like one out of 10, which sucks because it's really cute and actually really durable it feels like, so I don't know. That's why these videos are good though, because you guys can help me think of ways to use the products that are lemons. So this is an adhesive hook to hang hats on or anything else you wanted to really, I guess. So, so far the adhesives from Timu have been pretty strong, so, and hats are lightweight. So this could hold like probably four hats. Um, and I kind of want to, everything's falling, get more into hats. So this would just go on there like this. And then you would put another one over top. I give this like a 10 out of 10. This is a seat belt for your pet. My animals both like to come into the front seat and it's super annoying. I'm glad I'm reviewing this today because I'm going on a five hour drive tomorrow and I might bring the little dog with me. So this part goes around the collar or harness and this goes into the seat belt holder and it holds them. Now it feels kind of chintzy because one of my dogs is a Rottweiler, um, but where it's sewn, it is like you know, one of those squares with the X through it. If I really pull on it, that doesn't mean anything because I don't have nearly the strength of her. So I don't know, the feel of it, I wouldn't recommend it for a large dog, um, but for a smaller medium dog, I think it would be okay. And it was about two or three bucks, I think. So I would give that an eight out of 10. This is a travel fishing rod. So the difference is, 
that a normal fishing rod comes in two pieces. This one might be a little bit lighter weight, but it comes into five pieces. It doesn't come with the fishing reel. So you are to take the reel off of your regular fishing rod and put it onto this. Um, I'm not gonna put it together. But I'll just show you guys. It's got good reviews and it is very lightweight. It says that it takes four to 10 pound line. The case is like a case for tent poles and it's already broken on the end. So that part sucks. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 just because the case is not a good one for it. This was a pack of two sleep scrunchies. I've noticed lately how bad shape my hair is in and I need to sort of be more conscious of things like this and then I just it gets caught and then I like ah, rip it out and then I have like no hair left that's actually that long because it's all broken so there was this one and a black one I did wear the other one to bed the other night and it was comfortable I don't know really how much the satin helps when it's for sleeping. I don't know if that's a gimmick or what. That's jewelry, jewelry. But I give it a 10 out of 10, these. I can't find these anywhere. And this is the perfect amount, if you use it as a heaping scoop, to make two cups of coffee, not mugs, cups, when you measure it on the glass carafe. So two cups is about one mug. And this is meant for like dampening down an espresso, but you can also use it to stand. And I always lose mine, so I got two. These were 99 cents each, so I'm already gonna give those a 10 out of 10, just because I could find them. This is a, my dog is coming up on the back of the couch where she insists on sleeping. Portable oral irrigator, find your beauty spa for your mouth. Hi, Mojo. It says portable three modes, 360 degrees, clean your teeth, capacity 220 milliliters, powerful protection, waterproof design. It came in three colors. As usual, each color is a different price on Timu. I would have got the green, I got the white, I think, because it was the cheapest. This was a flash sale, so I think I got it for like 10 bucks-ish. Um, I was looking at one before I saw these on Timu. That was about $40 on Amazon. And then I was reading the reviews of these and people saying that it was exactly like the one they got off Amazon for four times the price. So the only complaint I read was that there was only one brush head included. I do see that is the case with this one, but I don't think I would use the other brush head. So it looks really nice. It's actually not what I would call white. It's like that pearlescent color they would do a lot better to call it that. It says it has a large reservoir. To me, I don't find this that big. I think when you're using, I have used a water pick before, which is what this is, and you actually go through that amount of water pretty quickly. So if it was any smaller than this, having to stop and refill it would be super annoying. So I don't recommend getting one that has any smaller of a tank than this. It has a seal on it. so or like an O-ring, so that's why it kind of popped off like that. This would be where it sucks the water up. So it has the one head with just the super narrow opening on it, which is what makes it have so much pressure. And then it's USB rechargeable. I kind of find all this USB rechargeable stuff annoying. Like you always have to have a block for everything now. Yeah, this looks high quality. It feels high quality. It honestly feels like whatever they're selling on Amazon, they made too much of or a company went bankrupt, so they're selling them on Timu. Um, and this must be, no, this is the power button. Oh, it's charged. Soft. I don't know if it's good to run it without the water. Oh, well. Why isn't it going to normal? It's only doing soft. Oh, you have to hold it down to make it go to the next one. Sounds pretty good for like a USB. That's the charging port right there. The only downside is if you lose this, you're screwed because I've never seen another charger like that. 
my second last product today. Why is this amazing? Two reasons. One, if you're going camping or something and you want um, milk for your cooler or your fridge, you need a screw top, not the cartons that you can buy um, in Canada that just have the fold out carton mouth. Now in the States, I know you guys buy your milk in jugs. So this would be good if you didn't wanna bring a whole jug, you could just pour some into here. In Canada, our milk comes in cardboard cartons or plastic bags. I know that sounds crazy. So you could pour a cardboard carton into here or milk from the plastic bag and have it in this nice acrylic container that is BPA free. I think this one was $7. It was a flash sale. Um, you can also get them that are half this size. The other thing I was thinking this would be really good for is if you had some juice in your fridge, like multiple juices, you could with just a, oh, it's actually, is it a pull top or a screw top? There you go. I think it's a, yeah, it's a screw top, which is good because that won't leak as well. And it does have the O-ring at the top. It's a little bit hard to close. Like it over rotated and now it's not lined up, which bothers me. So now I need to turn it back a little bit and it's not going. So this is a little bit, why? Cumbersome. Maybe I didn't have it threaded right. Other than that, I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, so let's just say an eight out of 10 because you obviously have to be careful that it is flush before you screw it down. So other than that, I'm gonna show you guys. I got one sea turtle hanging and it was so nice that I ordered a second one and they are on my wall. So I'm just gonna show you guys that as the last thing today. And other than that, Thank you for watching. I know this has been a long video. I'm sure most of you didn't watch the entire thing, but please, as said in the beginning of this video, if you missed that part, I am doing a giveaway. My next video is going to be a haul and everything that's in the haul is going to be a giveaway as a thank you for getting to 100 subscribers. So please just like this, subscribe, and leave a comment below with the answer from the question that is at the beginning of this video. So this is not actually where I want these guys to go. It's just where I had some hooks in the wall. On the listing, they look silver, but that's just the sheen coming off of them from the sun. They're actually black and they are super nice. I believe they were $12 each. They're not quite as large as they look in the pictures, but I really like them.